Hi everyone, my name is Matt Kleskowski and I uh, wanted to uh, do another one of these uh, on one short clips where, um, of course, you know, on one photo 10 has been announced and, uh, you know, big news for us and hopefully you'll check it out. But uh, one of the, the things that, that comes to mind is how much work that Browse has gotten. The Browse app has, has really gotten quite a bit of work and I see all these, these tests online, especially lately. I see these tests comparing import and cataloging processes from different programs and what struck me, because I get a lot of questions on this, is that I use Browse a lot on the front end, okay? So on, if you look at this, uh, the way Browse works is it's just a crazy fast browser. Like if I click on a folder, I'll click on the Seattle folder. It's got hundreds of 36 megapixel raw photos in it. It renders them just about instantly and I can scroll through, I'm not waiting on anything. And for me, this has kind of become, what it, it's sometimes I just want to look at photos, I just wanna look at photos. And, and I, I hope I'm not alone in this in that I don't meticulously have every single photo shoot that I've ever done perfectly cataloged inside of Lightroom. Sometimes I get into Lightroom and I do, I do all my, I still think it's the best place for cataloging and exposure, shadow highlights, noise, lens corrections. But um, sometimes I get in there and I realize I, I didn't import a folder. And then I've gotta go find it. And a lot of times I used to use Adobe Bridge and I know I make fun of it and I still kinda of do but it was super slow, but I used to use it just for that. But with Browse, now I've got a way where I don't have to import anything. I just put my photos where I want on my hard drives and I can jump into whatever folder that I want. And I'm, I know that I'm gonna get uh, an instantly fast rendering of those photos so that I can do exactly what I want to do, which is see the photos. If I wanna go further, you know, if I'm inside, let's, let's say the Seattle folder and I hit the number five, I can start to rate these photos as five stars. What's cool about that is, is once I do that work here, um, if I right click and send these to Lightroom, Lightroom is gonna pick up all that work. So I, I haven't lost anything by doing this. If anything, what it becomes is, this is the place where I go to when I just wanna look at photos. And if I happen to do a little bit of selecting and, and culling in that process, that work is not lost because now I can continue it over to Lightroom. I can do my exposure and shadows and highlights inside of Lightroom. And then I can jump into effects or portrait, whatever it comes to uh, when I'm gonna finish off my photos and kind of complete the workflow that way. So um, if you've seen those tests, you know, it's, it's got me wondering too, you know, I, I started really looking at my workflow. And what I realized is I don't, when it comes to the import and cataloging process, that usually happens down the line for me. And, and I've got the extra time to do it. So if it takes a little bit longer, I'm okay with that because on the front end, browsers really become what I use to look at my photos. So uh, if you wanna find out more about it, and uh, of course, find out more about Photo 10, just head over to on1.com. You can see all the new features. Browse has a, a lot of new stuff in it as well. And uh, definitely something to check out and you can pre-order and uh, you'll be one of the first people to get it.